Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this January 22nd. Everybody's talking snow, but as I've cautioned you here before, and I cautioned you yesterday, don't get so worked up. The numbers don't mean anything at this point. In fact, this looks to be a minor situation, as they usually are. Uh, we're just, uh, we're, the, the numbers do not favor us at all. For a big snow, this is not going to be that event. Uh, we're going to get some minor snow accumulation out of this, enough for a, a, maybe a little bit of a nuisance Friday night, maybe some icy spots Saturday morning as temperatures are a bit below freezing. But we are just not going to get cold enough, nor is that low pressure system going to track in the. Um, in the proper direction, if you will, or path that we need for this to be a significant event. So, yes, we will get some minor snow out of it, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. So I'll just say that right here at the get-go. 57 was our official high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green at the airport. That happened at 245 in the afternoon. 45 is the average high, so that's a 12-degree difference. 30 was our low, 26 the average, that's a 4-degree difference. And a year ago, we had a high of 41 and a low of 12 back in 2014. It was cold. No precipitation past 24 hours in the sunny, mild weather. Our January thaw, for all intents and purposes, is gone. Uh, from here on out, it's going to be trending closer to average for this time of the year, which is, as I mentioned, 45 degrees. So, already this morning, we're watching clouds on the approach. Today will be mostly cloudy. There will be a few times of sun breaking through, but cloud cover is going to be more prevalent as we go through the day, and you will notice it's cooler today as well. 45 will be the high. That's right on the average. The winds will be out of the northeast at about 5. For tonight, mostly cloudy, cold, a low of 29. And then for Friday, we're calling for a 50-50 chance of rain at first, and it will be mainly rain. But then tomorrow night, as we get down below freezing, we think there will be plenty of moisture around for us to change over probably after 7, 8, 9 o'clock, somewhere in there, uh, to some slushy, wet snow. This will be the kind that uh, accumulates on the grassy areas, elevated surfaces, rooftops, uh, some back roads. And, you know, once we get down below freezing uh, and get down into the upper 20s by early Saturday morning, yes, the uh, greater impact will be some icy spots. Uh, but... It's not going to last. Saturday, we return to sunshine and a high temperature of 48, well above freezing. So whatever's there, Friday night and early Saturday morning will be gone by the middle of the day, Saturday, or by afternoon. And we warm up even more. 51 will be the high temperature for Sunday. There's a 20% chance we could see some light rain. Monday, as that light rain comes to an end, there could be some wet snowflakes mixing in, a high of a colder 42. Then we go back to mostly sunny for next Tuesday, 44. Wednesday, partly sunny, 47. So you see throughout that whole seven-day stretch, temperatures will be running just at or a bit above average for this time of the year. Again, that does not play into our favor when we're looking for a significant snow. This is just not the time. But we still have all of February to go. And as we saw last year, sometimes it'll wait until March. Eh. <laughs> it, it's that fickle, folks. And that's what makes it so difficult to forecast sometimes. But... We err on the side of, eh, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal, and usually that's the way it turns out. Every once in a blue moon, we get that uh, big one, but this is not going to be it. 
All right, that's going to do it for this edition of the podcast. Of course, all details in full detail with graphics and everything else. Available at WBKO.com on our weather page. You can get that by also downloading the WBKO app. Take it with you on your phone, wherever you go, or tablet, whatever you have. Of course, I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com. Know the weather before it knows you. God bless, and have a great day.